So liquid refrigerant return into the compressor while it's running, no superheat. As you can see, this is a scroll compressor. Here's the crankshaft, you have oil down here. So if you're having flood back happening, what happens, that liquid refrigerant gets in here. This is a hollow crankshaft. There's flinger fle feeds at the bottom. And what happens, it picks up the oil and feeds all the bearings. And then right here is your dry bearing underneath the oscillating scroll. What happens when you get flood back, it starts to dilute. Oil is here, but as it starts to go up further and further, that liquid refrigerant starts to dilute the oil because it is a good cleaner. And it doesn't take a long time to do a lot of damage. If you have minor flood back, okay, it's, gonna, it's still gonna do damage. But if you have major flood back happen constantly, what's gonna happen is that this liquid refrigerant gets up to the top here, dilutes the oil, you get metal on metal, and then you have, this is what it looks like. So when you cut open a compressor and you see this bearing, just bare like that, and you see this uh, uh, bushing and bearing just damaged like that. That means really 100% it was flood back. 